Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on Twitter, GoPro X, CHK, daily weekly time frame. So Twitter bulls finally getting over that 200-day moving average resistance. We did reject from the upper Bollinger Band, so we do have to keep an eye on that going forward. And the next clear level that we need to get over, the next hurdle, is the 100 and the 50-day moving average resistances. And both of those are sitting at 1747, 1749. And then we're looking at 1760 before we look to fill this gap. So the bulls have some momentum now, increase in bull volume. Any consolidation, we want to back test and hold that 200-day moving average and ideally close over these last two moving average resistances. The sooner the better. The weekly time frame is showing a little bit more follow through. The risk of a potential bear flag is less likely now due to the fact that we are getting over these exponential resistances. And if we can close next week, or if we can close this week with one more green day heading into next week, we will have some pretty solid bull momentum behind this move. GoPro on the daily time frame, huge bull move on a gap of open on increased guidance, but a ton of profit taking. We did break resistance levels 1089, we got over 1085 but very significant profit taking to the tune of 8% from that high. And look where we closed, right under that upper Bollinger Band resistance. So $10 psychological support. If we break 983, we start filling the gap back down. Bulls really don't want to start seeing that happen because this is definitely double toppy. Although we did get a, a higher high, clearly that resistance is rejecting the price and we have to be cautious of that level. So the weekly time frame, big upper wick, bulls trying to close over the upper Bollinger Band of 992 to be in breakout mode heading into next week, and a very new clear resistance level just under $11 to be keeping an eye on going forward. So it was nice to get out of this tight range for the bulls, but obviously disappointing from where we started the morning to where we ended. Well, I guess we started and ended in the same place, but you know what I mean in terms of not being able to hold on to any of these gains after the open. X on the daily time frame, a third inside bar in a row. Spy has three inside bars in a row as well to be keeping an eye on. A bear break occurs at 27.37. A bull break occurs at 27.99. And we'll watch to see which direction can break first. Very tight pattern. If you are looking for a day trade, this is the kind of setup you want to be looking for because we know after such a tight pattern with declining volume, and actually we had a little uptick in volume, that's usually not the norm on these tightening patterns. But after getting so tight, the break is very clear. A lot of traders recognize that, and it magnifies the break when it does happen. X on the weekly time frame, trying to close above the 50 week of 2743, turn that level and the upper Bollinger Band into support, and the bulls will have some solid momentum heading into next week in breakout mode. CHK on the daily time frame, nice, slow, and steady follow through. We do have a bullish TCG cross underway now with these moving averages, the exponential. Bullish MACD already happened, and we finally closed over the middle Bollinger Band for the first time in a month. At this point, resistance is 396. Have to break that level. Otherwise, it's just another lower high. So we need to form higher lows and higher highs on this move back to the upside for the bulls. And they're certainly doing a nice job of it so far. Bullish reversal candlestick is being confirmed now on the weekly time frame. Just keeping in mind that we are not going to change any kind of trend on the weekly time frame. And we need to be anticipating this move is going to be fairly short-lived. But as of right now, the weekly chart is in favor of the bulls. The energy sector as a whole has been seeing a really nice week. In terms of strength and trying to see this oversold bounce get at least a little bit further upside especially with the strong close at the high of the day even though the inventory reports for both oil and natural gas didn't give the bulls a whole lot to be leaning on so that's what we got heading into the last trading day of the week we'll check back in over the weekend and see how it all plays out hope you have a good night we'll see you soon